Downtown San Jose businesses took a hard hit in the pandemic, but what we have here is a success story to bring you about a neighborhood that is full of history. The Italian American culture is coming alive in the city with the unveiling of a new museum and history center. And Len Ramirez shows us the new additions to Little Italy. Well, in just the short number of years that Little Italy has tried to get established here in San Jose, a number of obstacles have been put in the way, including, of course, the pandemic. But through hard work and dedication, some of the major pieces are now falling into place. So this will be our Little Italy Museum and Cultural Center. Joshua DiVincenzi Melander says this converted 1890s home will be a source of pride for San Jose's Italian-American community and serve as a reminder of the role Italian immigrants played in developing the city's agricultural roots. The history will tell our story, but it's for everybody. It's for San Jose. Joshua says the Little Italy community has reached a major milestone with the conversion of the house, a mini plaza, the soon-to-be-open Poorhouse Bistro restaurant, and this little bit of a hidden treasure down in the basement. But really what we're trying to do is create the speakeasy vibe. An underground social club is coming together with old blue eyes above the bar, all designed to recreate an Italian cellar bar that was once part of San Jose's original Italian-American neighborhood. This is the culmination of the community coming here to have a permanent home. Joshua's dream for a Little Italy neighborhood began around 2014. The effort has survived the ups and downs of the economy and a pandemic that threatened to wipe out the dream once and for all. There was no people down here, so we had to really rely on our community to support these businesses. Some of them didn't make it. One of the businesses that did survive after being physically moved into Little Italy was the Poorhouse Bistro, which will reopen in the coming weeks. I mean, when you see your money going out for a year and a half and you have no income, it, it gets a little scary, but um, you just have to keep telling yourself you're going to be in a good situation once we open up. It's the little business district that could, a place full of history, now with a better future.